The lowest level of control in object space allows you to locally paint effects at the vertex level. To do so, we can use the Paint Effects tool, which is the orange splatter icon at the MNPR shelf. Once opened, the NPR effects window will show the vertex space control tab with all the different paint effects. Since we have already seen what the density and application effects do in the noise effects tutorial, we will concentrate on the remaining watercolor effects. To get started, select the objects that you wish to paint effects on and click on the brush icon of the distortion effect. This will automatically set the painting operation to distort and you can start painting your desired effect on the object. Notice that the more we paint, the stronger the effect becomes. We can also change the intensity at which the effect is painted by moving the slider at the far right of the paint effects tool up. This will make each brush stroke stronger. To prevent any painted distortion changes, simply click on the revert option at the paint effects distortion tool and paint the effect back. If you paid attention to the UI, changing between distort and revert will automatically change the slider position at the far right. This means that you can also toggle between painting the effect and reverting it by only using the slider. Do remember that the effects are all relative to the global stylization parameters. So if we modify the substrate distortion at the configuration node, the painted effect will adapt accordingly. To manipulate the edges of a render, we're going to use a different approach. Instead of painting, we're going to flood the vertex parameters. With the object selected, darken the edge a couple of times using the flood button and then widen the edges as well. The flooding operation takes the value of the slider for each iteration. This means that you can move the slider down and flood to also narrow the edges. Once you have a good starting point by flooding the effect, you can locally modify the flooded values by painting on top of them. If you want to reset the vertex control, you can press the reset button to reset all the effects to its default state. The edge darkening effect is also relative to the global edge darkening parameter at the configuration node. Do remember that painting and flooding works only on selected objects or on selected vertices. This becomes useful when keying the vertex control, which is the feature that will be introduced next. This model has a lot of gaps and overlaps, so let us animate one of these. First, select vertices that you want to key. Then, go to a frame in the timeline and hit the green button. This will key the vertex control at this frame. Now you can go to another frame in the timeline, change the control in the vertices by either flooding or painting them, and hit the green key button again. This will create another keyframe and interpolate the animation between them. The keys will also appear in the graph editor as well. The middle button in between will show the vertex control timeline for the specified effect and the red keyframe button will delete the current keyframe. Do keep in mind that vertex control can only be keyed when the construction history of the vertex color set is still present. Also, remember that the gaps and overlaps effect is relative to the max gaps and overlaps width attribute in the configuration node. To finalize this tutorial on paint effects, let us take advantage of vertex selection and flooding to achieve a smooth color bleeding effect. For this example, let's work with our test sphere. Select a pole vertex and grow the selection with a bigger than button on the keyboard. Once you are happy with your selection, slide the blending effect slightly up towards the bleeding and start flooding once. Then reduce the selection with a smaller than button on the keyboard, flood again and repeat the process, increasing the bleeding effect gradually. This method will give you precise control over the transition of effects and can be of real help when stylizing your scene.